Back with another video for you today, Dahlia's here. Today we're reviewing a fragrance from Kerosene called Woodhaven. This one right here, this is a woody fragrance, perfect for fall. We're gonna do the review, plus you'll have a chance at winning a full set of samples from the House of Kerosene, if you are a subscriber of this channel from the USA. So if you wanna find out about Woodhaven, stick around. Thanks for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Right? Absolutely. Now, are you uh, familiar with kerosene? I am indeed. I'm a big fan of kerosene fragrances. My favorite fragrance to this day from this house is still Unknown Pleasures because I love gourmands. Mm -hmm. But I know you hate gourmands. Do you hate gourmands? I'm coming around. You're turning I, around. I, I wouldn't say that I'm like a super, super fan, but I don't think I can, I can say with the same conviction that I, that I hate gourmands. There are some, I'm, they're creeping in. But what about woody fragrances? Do you like woody fragrances? Because Woodhaven's all very woody. Um, I find that uh, when I find a sandalwood or a, a fragrance, a cedar actually, um, I have a few. Uh, when I find one that works on me, I'm really happy, but generally it's the incense that I like the best. Mm. Um, so you like resinous? The resinous fragrances, the wood, the woodier fragrances tend to be more masculine than my skin can take. Oh, okay. Well, have you tried Woodhaven? I have. I've tried it here. And we did a top 20 uh, woody fragrances video, and this did very well. Um, and I've actually, um, I've smelled, if not the entire kerosene line, most of them. These labels are like hand stamped with I don't know what. Um, which, Great, huh? Uh, it's so cool. Um, very beautiful. I don't, um, what I love is they really don't look like any anything else. Um, Did you know that John Pegg, the perfumer behind this brand, used to do YouTube videos like me? I didn't, but it's industrial chic. It's um, it's a beautiful look. I Actually, I didn't know that he started out um, on YouTube. But, he was a um, YouTuber. But back to this one. Yeah, so, so this, was, this was launched in 2012. It comes in EDP concentration, Eau de Parfum. 100 ml bottle like this retails for $140. Great price for indie niche perfumes. Because some, some designer fragrances are now retailing for about 140 And just to let you know, recently I reviewed Terre de Hermes from Hermes, the, the latest uh, flanker, and that retails for $133, I believe, for 100 mil. So this is only like eight, seven, eight dollars more for niche perfume, which is awesome. For notes, this has at the top bergamot, grapefruit, lemon, black pepper. In the heart, pink peppercorns, juniper leaf, ginger root. In the base, you have vetiver, cedar and guyac wood. What's remarkable and unusual for um, a woodsy fragrance is that the lemon really carries through the wear, kind of the 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 cycle. It's it's not like a citrus that just you know is there for a second and it lifts off and it's gone. It's like you're walking through, as you said uh, earlier, it's it's like there are lemon trees or lemon rind and it's throughout, which is amazing. And what's also very unusual is that ginger is... Pretty prominent. Pretty pro It's like a steady, uh, it's like a baseline or something. It's it's there and maybe you don't notice it at first, but it is there throughout and it's um, it adds a little kind of spice and a kind of je ne sais quoi to it. It's a gingery spiciness, uh, yeah. zingy, uh, kind of peppery. Zingy. Yeah. And um, yeah, the pepper, let me have some, one of these. You want the strip? Okay, here, let's spray some. All right. To me, I find this to be like a fall, dry, woody fragrance. We were mentioning in the woody fragrances video that this, to me, smells like I'm walking in a dry, fall forest of uh, trees. You can smell the fall air. You can also smell the dryness of the... I agree that it's not really spring or summer. No, it's definitely not, no. It's, um... What I couldn't tell you is which forest it is. Um... Cedar are, forest. Which I, I mean, I, I, ha, I don't think I've walked in a cedar forest. My experience with cedar has been like, you know, uh, spas and, and closets and like already cut cedar. Closets? You know, not, 
plural, all of my closets. Um, just, you know, saying like, um, you know, like some, some, some fragrances you get a very strong sense of like, oh, well, this is a California forest. You know, these are trees I recognize from the West Coast, or this is a Northern forest. It's very piney. It's very like Arctic or something like Scandinavian or whatever. This, uh, I can't quite place it from a location of, it's not some place I've been, I guess. I haven't, I haven't had a walk through this Well, forest. I know where it is. Well, okay, well then you tell California me. California Redwood Forest. Even though we've got cedar here, it smells like a dry fall or even dry summer. Totally. I get it. It's perfectly capturing California and Redwood Forest with the cedar instead of a redwood tree. The juniper is great. The juniper is great? It's been, it's, you know, it's been here for a minute and it's... Um, juniper also gives it a little peppery kind of a zinginess. More, more peppery than spice like ginger does. Mm -hmm. But this is all about cedar to me. It's just such a bright um, wood you know, between the, the ginger and the citrus and the juniper, it's, um, it's very bright and, and it's lively. Well, when you say bright, it's not necessarily like a happy fragrance because it's quite dark to me. Agree. Yeah. Um, I think almost it's, the brightness is such a contrast to how dark the woods are. Yeah. It almost makes you notice the darkness of it more. But it is um, zingy. I think the main player here is the cedar along with lemon. Then there's also the supporting players like the vetiver, the guyac wood, although the guyac wood to me does not pop through as much. I would say the, the supporting ginger, cast is the ginger. The ginger comes through, the, the juniper, juniper, and it does get peppery with the pe pink peppercorns and the black pepper. Yeah. It's like these things are being crushed underfoot while you... Yeah, you're walking in that forest, a dry, dry forest. Yeah. Redwood it's forest. It's dry. That's true. Now we put this on the top 20 wood fragrances video because it's, it's a general woody fragrance, but I think the dominant note is cedar. I mean, you definitely pick up the cedar, don't you? It's definitely cedary. And we were going to feature cedar in a separate cedar video, but we, we included this one because it also has, you know, guyac wood and it's of course vetiver. Can you prominently distinguish the cedar in here? Because I totally do. I'm thrown off by the lemon and that's, I thought it was a great fit for the woodsy video because it is um, a, such an interesting aromatic uh, woody blend mm -hmm. um, with that sharp kind of lemon and the juniper berry and that crushed kind of pepper and the, and then that like ginger kind of hanging out through the whole trajectory. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's really. The ginger is throwing a little bit of a curveball. Yeah. Yeah. But really, really solid release. Is, would you say this is um, masculine, feminine, or unisex? Definitely leaning masculine to me. And I would say this is solidly unisex, which is really unusual for a woodsy really? fragrance. Really? Yeah. It's what's giving it the unisex? I think it's the it's the citrus. I mean, there's no and gender the, to with fragrances anyway. But to me, smelling it gives it a very masculine. And I actually think it might be the bergamot. It might be the lemon. It might be the ginger. But all those gourmand qualities are bringing it to more of a unisex for me. Hmm. I, don't, I don't get gourmand qualities at all on this one, except for the citruses, which are citrus, but... The peppercorn. If you like woody fragrances, this is definitely one for you to try. It's really a great, great representation of a, a wood forest, a redwood forest, or a cedar forest. Or a wood haven. Wood haven, exactly. Because that's what it is, right? And on my skin, it is... Um, Bright, clean, fresh. Woods. Yeah. Guys, are you familiar with Woodhaven from Kerosene? Are you familiar with Kerosene as a brand at all? Do you know this house? Did you know John Pegg as a YouTuber before he created uh, Kerosene, the fragrance house? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to participate in the giveaway for the whole entire Kerosene sample set, uh, we'd like for you to let us know what your current favorite woody fragrance is. And then also let us know what you like about Woodhaven, what sounds good about it. And thirdly, let us know what you liked about this review. And please put your state down as well as this is only open to USA residents.
Have we covered it all with Woodhaven? I think we have. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. That's Dahlia. This is Sebastian. This is Woodhaven coming right up. I love it. <laughs> You're not going to do that. But what about Woody's? Those poultry <laughs> things as well. If you like Woody's, this is the one for you to try. I mean, if you like Woody fragrances. <laughs>